Well, they say that one person's trash is another person's treasure. With this, our world's first microfactory, we can show to the rest of the world that waste isn't a problem. It's actually an incredible opportunity. Our e-waste microfactory has a number of small modules that can be replicated anywhere in the world. And actually, in this particular case, it all fits within 50 square meters. The e-waste is literally fragmented and all of these useful components, glass, plastics and circuit boards, are basically pulled apart away from each other and then they're identified by this robot, which is then put aside for the next stage. Now here's where things get really interesting. By applying different, precisely controlled temperatures in a small furnace, we can not only extract the elements from, say, a circuit board, we can make valuable alloys. These metal alloys don't need elements to be extracted from the ground. And we are actually using the plastics on these circuit boards in a completely unique way to help in the formation of these valuable metal alloys. And alternatively, we could take all the other types of plastics that are available to us in e-waste and we can reform them into filaments and subsequently those filaments could actually be used to print different types of products. So we're actually reevaluating the whole concept of recycling. We're actually going beyond recycling and we're talking about the fourth R that we call reform. This has already attracted a lot of interest from the business world. We already have business partners on board, industries like Molikop and Tezan, who are excited about these new opportunities. With China now refusing to take imported waste, the rest of the world really needs to be dealing with this rubbish domestically and seeing this waste as a useful resource. And with a micro factory like this one, that environmental burden could actually be converted into a fantastic economic opportunity. This is an Australian invention that can help solve a massive global problem.